Today we're going to talk about steam wand eggs. Now, wait, wait, don't click the dislike button just yet. Just, just wait, just wait a second. Now this starts in, in, in my subreddit where someone links a video with a little title, which is Tovman reacts to this atrocity. And the video, well, we're going to watch it together and decide if it's atrocious and decide if there's anything interesting there. So it's Martha Stewart's famous eggs. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Here's a very fun way to cook scrambled eggs with a cappuccino machine. It is not, it is not a cappuccino machine. Please stop calling it that. I know it can make a cappuccino, but it's not a cappuccino machine. You know, it's not a latte machine, a flat white machine. It's not an Americana machine. It's an espresso machine. Stop it, people out there who call it a cappuccino machine. That's naughty and wrong. Break up the eggs, a little salt, a little pepper, and about it. I'm not against handling fridge cold butter. That just doesn't look like fridge cold butter. That looks like, like room temperature squishy butter. That's just kind of... This kind of grossed me out in a weird sort of way. I don't know why. Let's and go. about a teaspoon and a half of butter. And now insert the steam wand. Did she start steaming before putting it inside? That just seems ambitious and foolish. And don't don't do that. Right into the scrambled eggs. It steams the eggs into the softest, fluffiest scrambled eggs. And in just a I have to ask, Martha, why are you steaming this in one of the latte glasses that no one's used since 1992? That, I just don't get it. Why would you choose to steam inside a glass? That's the weirdest choice. There's a lot of egg on that wand right now. That doesn't bode well. And in just a matter of seconds, your eggs are finished. Mix it all up together. And then if you have an... Is that dry toast? Who, is that dry toast? It's barely toasted and it's dry toast. That is not acceptable. Nice piece of toasted bread. You can put a piece of Swiss cheese or Gruyere right on the bread if you like. These eggs are buttery and... Oh. Oh, Martha. Look at the steam wand. Look at the steam wand. That is unacceceptable. If you... That is just disgusting. Don't... Don't do that. That is the cardinal sin uh, of all of this, which is look at the filthy egg she's just left cooking onto that wand. That wand is going to be hot. It's going to keep kind of cooking the egg around it. It's really going to stick. That is not cool. So, and you know someone else is going to have to clean that up for her because she's not cleaning that wand. Fluffy and light and delicious. So very, very easy. And it is a conversation piece in your kitchen too. Scrambled eggs a la cappuccino machine. <laughs> That is the worst name for these that I've ever heard. So I'm, I'm reasonably horrified by this video, primarily because of the state of the steam wand at the end of that. that. That is deeply unacceptable. Now, this isn't the first time I've seen scrambled eggs with a coffee machine steam wand. This has been around decades, decades and decades, in fact. I've done it in the past as well, just out of curiosity to see what it was like. Now, I'd kind of written this whole thing off, but I remember seeing a little while ago a video from someone who knows food, who knows cooking, which is Jay Kenji lopez -Alt. You'll probably know from Serious Eats, from his YouTube channel. He, he knows eggs. He knows cooking. Kenji had made a video about this when he was in Colombia, uh, and it was called uh, Things Worth Eating, Huevos al Vapor, and it looks tasty, also kind of weird though. Let's just let's just see what he has to say on the subject. I'm here today at Cafe El Polo in Salamina, Colombia, um, and I'm eating this thing called um, huevos al vapor. It's steamed eggs, so these are eggs that are actually cooked using an espresso machine. With okay, so they're cooking it in the cup, which again, I don't know what the, the thing is about cooking them in, in glasses or cups or just things you don't usually cook eggs in, but okay. Is they take the eggs, they put them in a cup with some butter and a little bit of salt, um, and then they put it right underneath the wand of the espresso machine, and the steam kind of bubbles them and cooks them, um, keeps them nice and moist. They're basically like the moistest. I hope he cleans that wand. Now the wand as a whole looks relatively clean, but you can see there's a lot of eggs stuck to that wand. And I respect the skill of keeping the eggs in the cup, despite the fact that they look like they're about to just massively overflow at the top. Hard scrambled eggs you could get. Um, generally, I like my egg, scrambled eggs a little bit runny, but these ones, they manage to be fully scrambled and hard, yet still extremely moist and creamy. Okay, so that, that's really the bit that's interesting to me. If someone like, you know, uh, Kenji notices that with kind of fully set up eggs, sort of hardened, fully scrambled eggs, there's a textural benefit to doing it this way, that seems worth testing. You know, if I cook a kind of more cooked sort of set up scrambled egg in a pan and I compare it to egg steamed on a steam wand, 
Will there be a benefit? Will there be a difference? Will it be negligible? There's really just one way to find out. So let's cook some eggs. Now, I'll say right at the start, there is not a machine manufacturer in the world who would tell you this is a good idea. They will all be horrified at what I'm gonna do now, and for good reason. There is a potential for damaging or, or causing issues with your coffee machine. There's a bigger potential for being really disgusting, but that's by the by. So just know that you're doing this, if you choose to do this, at your own risk. I know I'm doing it at my own risk. I'm comfortable fixing these things. I'm comfortable incurring the cost of breaking these things if I do this by cooking some eggs. That's it, the little caveat, the little warning at the start, just, just be aware. So I wanna start by just cooking some eggs and tasting them. Do, do they taste good? Do they taste weird? What's going on? So I'll do it a la Martha Stewart. I'll scramble two eggs, throw in some butter, some salt. I know salt is contentious when you salt eggs for scrambling. For now, we're just gonna go salt at the start, don't get mad, uh, and cook them down and see what they taste like. So we're ready to steam. I'm gonna steam them on my Eagle One Prima, which again will horrify many people, probably including Victoria Arduino themselves, so sorry. I've got my cloth ready for cleaning. That's gonna be the most important thing. Let's see how we go. I'm weirdly nervous. Oh, oh dear. So points for speed. That was very quick to cook. You could tell when you were getting solid curds when you start to get that kind of eruption of steam coming out. And at that point, you would expect that things are pretty well cooked. But are they delicious? I will say, I do have some pretty big curds here, but this is still softly scrambled. But it doesn't look bad. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So this is a pretty soft scramble, but I know what Kenji said was that for a harder setup, for a harder scrambled egg, it was surprisingly moist compared to how they might be from a pan. And that's the test that I wanna do next. So I'll cook the, the eggs in the pan, same recipe, same amount of butter, same salt, the whole deal, to the point one of a gram, of course. And then I'll cook them on here. We'll get them on some toast and we'll see if there's any difference. So to try and make this a good head to head, I'm gonna cook the eggs in the pan first. They might get a little overcooked, but we're going for a harder scramble, so it shouldn't really matter too much. I've got my buttered toast here ready to roll. So as soon as this is cooked, I'll put a little on the toast. I'll put a little into a bowl so I can do a kind of simple head to head. And then immediately I'll steam some eggs on the steam wand and do the same thing. And we should be ready to compare and contrast. I will say if you've never used a coffee grinder as a pepper grinder, well, it's a delight. It makes you realize how terrible most pepper grinders are. Like the output is fantastic. I'll see these unpeppered for more flavor clarity. Now the pan eggs were stirred a lot more frequently, so the curds, the clumps are much smaller in here. You can sort of see it's it's cooked fully, it's fully set up, but the curds are much, much smaller. The steam wand eggs though, much bigger kind of curds of egg from the way that it was cooked. Uh, and that's kind of interesting from a textural perspective, I guess, but let's have a little taste. Eggs, I'm good. The steam one eggs looking a little hot, to be honest. Oh, I'm not sure I expected that. It is very soft for eggs this cooked. That is true, Kenji. You were right. There is definitely something charming about that texture in a head-to-head -head against a more kind of pan-scrambled affair. And I don't know why, you know, I don't imagine this foaming happening in a meaningful way when you're steaming eggs, but there's a difference. But can you tell it, if you're having breakfast, you've got a piece of nice toast, can you tell the difference is really the question for me. So let's answer that. Good, delicious, enjoyable. Honestly, by the time there is a crunchy piece of bread involved, texture is so obscured. You really can't tell the difference between these two methods of egg cooking once you've plated it up and, you know, got some crunchy sourdough underneath. If you were just eating them as scrambled eggs, yeah, you can tell a difference and it's quite a big difference, but I guess it depends why you scramble your eggs and how you usually eat your scrambled eggs. I like mine on toast. Now let's answer the question. Should you be steaming eggs with an espresso machine? And the answer is probably, probably not. And even though I liked the texture of the eggs that came off it really a lot, even when they were cooked up a little bit more, 
I still probably prefer the texture of a soft scrambled egg, which is, you know, closer to what it tasted like than a harder scrambled egg. And if you like the texture of hard scrambled egg, maybe you wouldn't like the texture of steamed eggs because they are that little bit softer and kind of creamier tasting. I will say that steaming eggs on a machine is incredibly stressful. One, because you feel like it could all go somehow horribly wrong. Two, as they begin to cook, they get a little bit spitty and kind of angry. Uh, and three, accuracy of cooking on this is very difficult. The margin of error in cooking eggs in a pan is relatively wide, but not super wide, and it's easily missed by many people. The, the window here, the margin of error, is tiny. It's seconds between cooked nicely, overcooked, weird, I don't know. I can't in good conscience tell you to use a machine in a way that it was not designed. I don't think there's an obvious way you could damage your machine by doing this, other than leaving some cooked egg on your steam wand and that's just, that's just really gross. That's just disgusting. Don't, don't do that. If you try it, clean very well, purge afterwards a lot, but I, I'm not sure I'd recommend it. And certainly if you eat your eggs on toast, eh, it's just not worth the effort. If somehow you could make toast but you couldn't heat a pan, but you had a, a, an espresso machine, yeah, I guess maybe. Now I'll throw in one more thought that I had, which was, could you do poached scrambled eggs? If you've not heard of that, don't be surprised. Uh, I think it comes out of a restaurant called Koi in San Francisco in 2007. The idea is you basically whisk together your eggs as usual, and then you boil up a pot of boiling water, get a little bit of a vortex going and, and drizzle them in slowly, and just let them cook. And then you can get kind of an interesting omelet or scrambled texture from this. It's very light, it's very delicate. I tried doing it here with a steam pitcher and I steamed that pitcher up to boiling point and got a vortex going in it, but it seemed to just drop in temperature too quickly that I couldn't get a good texture on the egg that I put in there. If you wanna try it with a pot of water, do. I'll leave a link to a Chef Steps video if you wanna check it out and see how it works and how it looks and why on earth you might wanna boil your scrambled eggs or omelets. But, but yeah, if you're gonna do it, Sadly, I would recommend doing it the eggs in the steaming pitcher way, but I'm still not sure I recommend that. But I'd be interested to hear from you down in the comments below. Have I lost my mind? Is this ridiculous? Is this too much? Did you try this before? Did you like the results? Does calling it a cappuccino machine make you angry too? Let me know down in the comments below, but for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.